behalf of the Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, FICI, India's Apex Industry Association, and my own, it is a privilege and honor to be present here today at this very important and pertinent business dialogue for promoting multi-layered trade and investment ties between two old friends, India and Russia. Indo-Russian trade, economic and strategic relationships are witnessing a qualitative evolution in the backdrop of the firm resolve and commitment by Sri Narendra Modi ji, Honorable Prime Minister of India and His, and His Excellency Mr. Vladimir Putin, Honorable President of the Russian Federation to take relations to the next level. I take pleasure and pride in informing the August audience present today that for the setting the stage for the visit of Sri Narendra Modi, who has been invited as the chief guest by His Excellency Mr. Putin at the ongoing economic, Eastern Economic Forum, we led a 150-plus strong business delegation while accompanying Mr. Piyush Goyal, Commerce, Industry and Railway Minister of India. We were also accompanied by four prominent chief ministers of the state of Haryana, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh and Goa to this wonderful city between August 11th and August 13th, 2019. The visit was planned as part of the Government of India's sustained and focused efforts to cultivate resource-rich Russia's Far Eastern region for Indian investment and companies in the immediate future. Given the encouraging response we received from Indian companies representing mining and processing of diamonds and other rare metals and minerals, agriculture, fisheries and food processing, oil and gas, forestry and timber, coal, tourism, shipbuilding, technical education, healthcare and pharma, and skills develop development post their business deliberations with their Russian counterparts during the August visit. To retain the business momentum, we are here again with a 60 plus delegation of business delegation to be part of the ongoing business engagements during EEF 2019. I am pleased to inform that a number of business agreements have been discussed and are being in the process of being signed and have been signed between India and Russian companies during the course of the last two days. Russia is diversified, it's diversifying its links with Asia for the integration of its Far East into the Asian markets. A full range of investment projects to modernize airports and build new passenger and cargo terminals for international airports are being implemented in the Russian Far East with new regulations on the setting of long-term tariffs on airport terminal services to facilitate investments in airport, airport renovation on a long-term basis. Industry can seize, Indian industry must seize this chance. The other hotspot in the Russian Far East is agriculture, which is witnessing a strong interest post the launch of a land allocation program aimed at simulating entrepreneurial activity in the micro in the region through simplified and convenient access to land resources, free of charge usage of the land for a period of five years, and transfer of the resources to their ownership after this period. Investment in agriculture is also an exciting prospect due to the proximity of the Russian Far East to the largest and fastest growing markets of the Asia-Pacific region where there is enormous demand for quality and environmentally friendly food products. The Indian agri-sector can join hands with Russian companies for such production activities and help the Russian Far East become key supplier of food stuff to the Asia-Pacific region. There is, of course, the hydrocarbon and energy sector. The Russian Far East houses 27% of the gas reserves and 17% of the oil reserves in the Asia-Pacific region, but the level of development of known oil and gas deposits is relatively low. India can partner Russian companies which have announced the launch of major projects relating to utilization of oil and gas in Russia, including gas processing and petrochemical plants. The Russian Far East has a clear agenda of attracting and adapting new technology solutions and developing digital skills for business and government. Indian industry can deploy its technological prowess here. People to people connect is another crucial ingredient of a long-lasting relationship. Here the soft power of tourism and hospitality sector needs to be tapped. There are significant synergies whose convergence can pave the way for a stronger and sustained narrative in the India-Russia India Far East engagement. On 
behalf of FIKI, I would like to assure you that we shall continuously work towards articulating new business linkages and nurture the ones that have been cultivated. I once again thank all the dignitaries present for their commitment to collectively unveil the next phase of trade and investment relations between our nations in the times ahead. Thank you.